AI is not going to take your job. Someone who uses AI is going to take your job. I just don't think you'd be considered if you don't have uh, AI integrated into your coding workflow. You can't just ignore it and say like, oh, I'm not going to do that. What you guys are actually witnessing, AI's automation of tasks like, you know, model validation, risk assessment. So what skills remain in demand and what are the new core skill areas that you're marching? AI is not going to take your job. Someone who uses AI is going to take your job. Um, people who are hiring, I just don't think you'd be considered if if you don't have uh, AI integrated into your coding workflow. In terms of deep learning or developing trading strategies, it, in, in quant jobs, that certainly is is important. I would say maybe it's definitely a plus. It's not essential compared to knowing how to leverage uh, large language models. The reason I say that is because a lot of the information that we might be able to exploit in trading is words. And so knowing how to take advantage of that, I think, is prime, uh, say, compared to building other types of machine learning models. Having AI look out for things out of the ordinary, and, and again, you want to tune them or have them pay attention to things that you know about. Like if you're especially knowledgeable about uh, stocks in Hong Kong, Singapore, India, wherever, focus on properties of those that you will be able to take advantage of and have have the AI raise those flags for you. I think that most of the, the subjects remain the same in any company, not necessarily only in trading because AI is something which uh, is horizontal to many sectors. So I would say that most of the roles are given by the things that the companies have to do. It's a lot about how you do them. Like I know probably the, the jobs are moving at a, if you want to say higher level or different level, so you not only have to probably understand what you're, uh, for example, as a risk manager, what are the risks and how to model them, but you could also be a user of models uh, or uh, the AI software can help you create risk scenarios, but then you're sort of a manager of those models, so you have to be able to use them. So most of the tasks, I think that the sh jobs are changing as you're, as you're giving people new tools, which are very powerful. If I had a larger company, I like to think about you know hiring is someone that keeps up to date with what's going on. And now with AI, I feel like you can't just ignore it and say like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. I think that's gonna be a new career skill. We're trying to figure out the depth of what you're required to do. And then, you know, we wanna see it, but how much time do you spend on that? And to Matteo's point, right? I would love to have somebody who's actually like tracking, keeping track of all of it. Cause even for my personal time now, you know, while seasoned over a decade in, it's a new thing now. So now it's like, should I, drop what I'm currently working on to go learn the AI skills to get better at prompt engineering to understand the models better in depth and find new use cases. But I think career wise, the skill is going to be at least having some general knowledge and knowing where to apply them. But yeah, it's a hard piece to be in. But I think, you know, AI is going to be a new skill that's going to be required for most roles.